below A4. Billy. There you are. Come. Ride with me to the falls. They are Freya's gifts to these unforgiving lands. All right. But if I don't faint at the sight of them, you've oversold the view. You fight with impressive skill, I should say. I taught you well, I think. You taught me how to fight empty air, Billy, and trees and snowdrift and the like. No, I am certain I saved you from a snowdrift once, and a murderous tree. That's how I remember it. Any man who would call a tree murderous is the man who's had one too many blows to the head. That tower there, it recalls the broken wall in Norway on the road to my uncle's. On the 
road to my uncle's. Remember? I do. I remember the bite of that winter's chill as we sheltered from the wind for hours. It was you who got us stuck there. I do. I remember the bite of that winter's chill as we sheltered from the wind for hours. It was you who got us stuck there. Searching for the chickens you let loose before the Yule Feast. I'll have you remember. It's good to ride with you again, Narstek. I told you, that was meant to be a dragon's tail. It was a woody little twig in my eyes. No dragon's tail. Must I remind you of your own disrobed adventures in the pre-dawn streets of Starvenger? Eivor the Pantless, a head soaked with mead, and many pockets full of vomit. A dragon's tail it was, then. Are you sure you want my father's mead? Not afraid you might wake up tomorrow, naked, face down in a hog's pen? Is that what you call your house? Ah! <laughs> Stonebert! He's clearly not sent there by father to help. We must go! Eivor! What happened? I came too late to stop this. The Picts set fires and ran. They mean to spite us. There are more people trapped within. Free them, Eivor. Tent the wounded. We'll get them out. Leave me be! Not me! 
My wife! Save her first! Oh, my dear Hilda. Why? I cannot live without you. I cannot bear to go on. Forgive me. Eivor! Eivor, where are you? Get over here! There's nothing you can do now. Get to safety! Billy! Where are you? Answer me! to clear a path. I will get the man, Eivor. You carry the woman. Niflheim will have to wait. You are staying here. <laughs> oh, thank to your father. Hold on to me. I can get you out. I thought I might have to rescue you, Billy. Had I died, it would have been my time. My fate is already spun. I'm sorry, but you cannot endanger yourselves like this, lords. You have people to lead, a future to consider. The old man has wisdom, Billy. You have the full weight of this clan on your back. My father carries that weight. I do the fighting and feasting, and I am expert at both. It's good to have you watching my back again, Eivor. You see what I deal with, Eivor? The mind of a troll in the body of an Aesir. <laughs> Still the same arse stick as when we were children. I'll never change. This is hardly the time for lightness, you two. We have many injured to comfort. Well, that is your domain, Trigvi. I don't wish to be seen as a savior and healer all in one afternoon. The waters at Kinder Doomfall will soothe my wounds. If my father needs me, I'll be there. Billy, stop! Eivor, wait a moment. Eminger Jarl has confided in you about his health. He has. He said Billy wasn't taking it well. Billy lives in another world entirely right now. He is cracked inside, and will not face the full truth laid before him. And how are you? You braced yourself for what is to come. I... I have made my peace with the future, yes. Worry yourself with the wounded here. I will talk to Billy myself. <laughs>
follow me. Go ahead. found my secret haunt. I would be deaf to have not heard you singing. Your crow's cackle could awaken the dead. <laughs> These skirmishes with the Picts have worn you down. Not at all. The more scars, the better the boast. Oh, look at my father. A battle-worn veteran carved up like a goat on a spit. Not a metaphor I would use just now. Not in this state. These waters are magnificent, no? They comfort and heal. They are Freya's gift to man. Billy, you need to face it. Your father is dying. When he departs for the Corpse Hall, you will take his place, as expected. The novelty of this soggy north has worn on me, Eivor. Too warm for winter living, too cold for summer. I've heard Mercia is more temperate. Dense forests, bright colors, thriving streams. Is that how it is in your settlement? You are to be Jarl, Billy. Your father expects it. The people of Snuttinghamshire expect it. I only want sun on my skin and an axe in my hand. Ale and adventure. Not the staid life of a Jarl. You defy a long tradition, Billy. The son takes after his father. That is the way of things. Eivor... I have my own reasons to see you made Jarl. The Raven Clan wants friends in England. And you are among my very best. You do not need me in that seat to secure an alliance. You and Sigurd are beloved here. Your father is dying, Billy. Now is the time to get your house in order. It is not my house. It is the clan's house, and the clan will decide what happens next. You have a chance to end on good terms with your father. I wasn't afforded the same luxury. Don't squander it. Billy! Billy! Come forth! Another attack? It's your father! He hasn't got long! Come to the Longhouse! Near the yard is at the edge of death. I must see him before he goes.
think Garyar will go to heaven, Mother? I... I hope he will. Really good thing. Take it with you to the Hall of the Slain. You have become a great warrior, Aethorn. A warrior and a leader. Worth, worth song and verse. I had many good teachers, Hemingway, y'all. You chief among them. I beg of you now. Do not let my lessons die. Pass them on. The seer is on her way, father. She has remedies for you. Cures and charms. I held you here, really. In one proud hand when you were fresh from your mother's womb. I watched you grow. A dirty haired boy. Swinging sticks and running through the mud, dreaming of glory. I... I am proud of what you have become, son. <laughs> and I am proud... Proud of what you will become. No matter, I... Uh, I... Uh, uh. Father... Willy... must prepare for the funeral. I'll send for my clan. You call on the nobles of this shire. Nobles have begun to arrive. Trukri needs our help to see this through. We will be at the funeral pyre, overlooking the village. He was like a father.
asked about this lamp, my friend. This journey to the halls will be heralded by Eivor. Drengur. Suniva, thank you for coming. Ah, oh, the sight of old friends lets my heart rest easy. We came as soon as we heard, bearing gifts for Hemingur Yab. The celebration will last many days. How soon shall we begin? The pyre's construction is underway, and all of our guests are lodged and welcomed. We could begin shortly. Good. You handled this well, Trickley. I pledged my life's oath to Hemingel Jarl. There is nothing I would not do for him. The all thing must be held when the week is out and the funeral is done. The nobles of this shire will name Vili the Jarl of our clan. This assumes they will be sober after a week of drinking and weeping. It will be a grand funeral. Father will have a clear view of his lands from here. The flames will burn bright and tall for all the shire to see. You've done well, Trigger. This was his favorite spot in the shire. I suppose we should get started. Our guests need looking after. I will look for you later. To save you from them once the mead has really soaked in. You are a true gift, Eivor. Thank you. Trigvi is Hemthorpe's rock. With him around, the city can keep its peace. He is a good man. I must be away for a short time, Eivor. I want to retrieve something for my father. A gift. When did you have the time to make a funeral gift? <laughs> It was something I had hoped to give him in life. You must see it to believe it. I brought a gift from the Raven Clan. I stored it at the watchtower on the far side of Hemthorpe. Very kind, thank you. I should like to see it. I should look over the gift first. It must be worthy of hemming a yarl. There's a heaviness to your look, Eivor. What troubles you? Hemming had desired my counsel before he died. Wanted my opinion on the future of this clan's leadership. That would be Vili, would it not? If tradition held, yes. Trikvi has tasked me to help the Volva with the sacrifices. Could we speak with her to ease your thoughts? It's a good idea. But let me go alone. Set scouts around the village. The people here must mourn in safety. Stretch your wings, Sunan.
what do you see? Your yard gone can really hold the reins? Will he guide us through? Get to some work out till a You are the wolf kissed one. The raven of battle, whose fame grows with each waxing of the moon. I struggle with the choice Hemingha left for me. I would have your counsel on the matter. A slaughter must be made. Many sheep at the bottom of the sleeping Jutten. Before the pyre is lit. Follow! You are to serve the gods and bid them welcome our beloved Hemingriak with ale and open arms. Do you have the gift of foresight, Sia? Can you argue what is to come? I see what need be seen, when it need be. A great gift. A great burden. Did Hemingha Jarl consult you often? Did he unburden his woes? We spoke often. Yet too often he left with more burdens than he brought. He worried about the future of his clan. About who would be Jarl. Speak less. Lest our words draw foul spirits to dog us. As you wish. I... Your heart is restless. Your mind clouded. You seek more than a guarantee of good omens. I seek the gods' wisdom. You wish to know who would best serve this clan as Jarl? I do. Between Vili and Trukvi, there's no clear choice. We stand in the shadow of the giant, the great keeper of secrets. Here, you'll find a drink of the resounding sea. Ascend the sleeping Jotun, consume the waters, and meditate at its peak. Do not seek answers to your questions. They will find you. <whistles> Ascend the sleeper, take the drink, and meditate at the peak. Let the answers you seek find you. Go, Sunan.
Of flesh. Why have you not reached Odin's Hall? I will in time. As the flames of my pyre burn. I will ride the path of wood smoke to the All Father's Hall of Champions. I am grateful to see you once more, Jarl. I struggle with the task you set before me. To choose your heir is not an easy thing. One man is beloved, but does not want the task. The other man is fit for the task, but is not favored. I could not give you any more counsel in life, A4. So too in death am I rendered silent. Forget wise counsel and rational arguments. What does your heart tell you? My heart is stopped. It says nothing. This should not be my decision, Heminger. The choice was always yours to make. You were their chief. As Sigurd is your chief. But that does not quench your appetite for glory, as you covet his place upon the high seat of your clan. I do not seek to replace Sigurd. Fate weaved our futures long ago. We are only following its pattern. Yet you see it coming. You welcome it. Shall I renounce my faith, then? Abandon the path to glory I walk? No. I want you to die in defense of it.
left me too soon, Henry Earl. Your shire's fate is uncertain. I trusted you to make the right decision. I still do. Why my words should answer. Trust your judgment. You pushed me, Hemingya. I never intended this. <laughs> Have no regrets, save for. You have given me the great battle death I sought in life. You old fox. Was that the point of riling me up? Outrage! Our story? Festive. Too festive. And too soon. Fires, fights, and every man soaked in mead. Ugh, this has gone too far. Hemthorpe could burn before the pyres lit. Gods, have I failed, my dear Jarl? Peace, Trippy. I will do what I can to calm things. Skeet! 
People are quite upset. Leave me be! I did nothing wrong! You should walk out of here on your own, before you cannot walk at all. Yes, yes, I'll walk, I'll walk! Don't hurt me, please! There's a key there. If you open the door, I... I will follow you out. <laughs> You've got the key! Use it! Wrongs, desecrator. Enough. Let him speak to explain himself. I loved Heminger. I swear. I only want him to fly free in the kingdom of God. So you drench his body with your filth waters? Was it your Christian holy water? Of course. I anointed him in the name of the Lord. Heminger was never one to weep over a bit of rain, neither should you. He insulted our noble dead. Heminger would laugh at the very idea. <laughs> what do you see, Sunan? Boda you speak of. A gift without price, fit for a Jarl's lips. But hurry, it catches flame. Too late for your... your boda, as you say. Ah, balls. I dragged it all the way from Rus. It is back to water ale for me, I suppose. If you drink enough, ale is a fine fix to any problem. Very true, very true. Join me if you desire. Be my eyes, Sunan. I love the water. A bit of drink in the belly never hurt. That sobbing sack of meat with the roosters. What an asshole. <laughs> as 
Show me what lies ahead. See, warrior, see! Loki's for great waste here! You mean Heminger's famous fighting roosters? Dragons! Thank you, mighty Thor. You've saved my life. Uh, when you soap her up, steer clear of roosters. Order seems to have been restored. Now to trick me to let him know. I've calmed the guests as much as they can be in their grief. They mourn. It is to be expected. Still, thank you. And how do you feel, old friend? I mourn more deeply than most, I think. Heminger would be proud of what you have accomplished here. All you have done for him. I hope so. This ache will pass, Trukvi. But time... Yes, it will. See you, old friend. This is an excellent shield, Soledad. Good. And here, from the Raven Clan. An impressive shield. It is good. But it needs a touch of grandeur. Something personal for your father. A sigil, I think. A mark to adorn the front. We need an artisan. Is there one in the village? I know a man. A master craftsman in exile. He lives in a cave northeast of Hemsop. I would take you there myself, but I have Isbjorn to retrieve. Isbjorn? Your father's spear? Did he not wield it at Ulkerthorpe? He lost it some winters back on a bear hunt. He hit the beast hard, but the spear stuck and the bear fled into the forest. And after all these winters, you hope to find it again and present it to the pyre. The arts are narrow, to say the least. <laughs> Fret not, friend. I have a nose for these things. Seek out the exile. He'll see to your shield. This is an excellent shield, sir. Gunnar's crop. Bless you, Raven Bearer. I need your eyes, my friend.
Professor I almost value his solitude, living in a hole such as this. difficult man to find. Uh. Heminger Jarl is dead. Mm. I was told you are a master craftsman. I seek an etching on the shield to celebrate the life and death of Heminger Jarl. The stones. Heminger Jarl possessed a steady hand and steady heart. Do you possess the same? steady, as it was large. You have not yet answered me. Will you help me with my etching? How will you remember him? ...by his unrivaled prowess on the battlefield. Ah... ...Gunknir, then. Odin's faultless spear... ...a symbol of power. Is this your choice? Yes, I choose this one. I will begin. How did you come to be here? Fate. I was given a death sentence. Unfairly, I felt. But a man was killed. Heminger Jarl desired for me to live. The villagers... ...did not. My sight... ...and exile. That was our compromise. Thank you for this. His son will take his place? That is for Vili to decide. Vili has no say. Fate has already decided. The Aldang is tomorrow, and the Jarl must be chosen. I should speak with Sunimar about this. 